Hello Taurus, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the channel and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, please leave, uh, take what does or look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. And we have an emphatic no here. So we'll see what this is about. Have a look. A fiery climax approaches the full moon in Aries, so things are coming to a head here. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon in eclipse. Uh, beg your pardon. Full moon eclipse. So conclusions are within reach here. So things are wrapping up here. Um, we'll see what this is about. We'll see what the tarot says. If this doesn't resonate with you, there is a playlist for November on my channel with lots of different messages that have accumulated over the months. They might suit you better. Right, let's have a look and see. The Queen of Pentacles. The Magician. The Hermit card. You can see where this is going. There's your no. Your five is change coming in. Five of Cups. The overall energy is the Six of Swords. The Queen of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the High, uh, the High Priestess, beg your pardon, High Priestess, and the Eight of Swords here. Now, we've got an emphatic no, and we've got no because we've got fives on the table. Now, fives are change. And what we're saying is there's things are wrapping up now. There's going to be conclusions coming in. Things are going to wrap up, and we don't want to be in this five of swords, eight, five of cups energy. We don't want to be focusing on past events and regrets, and what's going on in the past here, or any upsets from the past. We want to be focusing on the present now, and we want to be looking at our blessings. And if you look at the blessings, if he turns round there, he can go over this bridge into new opportunities. So let the past go here. We don't want to, you know, be looking. We can't refill these cups. We can't fill them again, so we can't be crying over spilt milk, so to speak. It's not going to help. And we don't want to be overthinking things either. Now, if we've been through upsets, this is very natural. Everybody does it. You could be creating your own wee mental prison. Now, it's saying things are wrapping up. We don't want to be overthinking. Whatever the situation may be for you, it could be within work, finances, your relationships or your environments, because there's pentacles on this table. But you will know what I'm talking about here because you'll be going through it at the moment. So we don't want to be getting in our own road. We don't want to be thinking the worst here or having any conclusions about how things are going to work out. We don't want to be worrying because the more worrying we do, the more delays we bring because we just bring in negativity. So if she takes off the blindfolds and the vine, she can walk forward. So don't get in your own road here, Taurus. Don't be creating your own little mental prison here because of what's going on in the past here. Now, the overall energy here is about moving forward mentally towards new beginnings. So when these things come to, uh, things wrap up, you'll be able to start to see the way forward here because this is about manifesting new goals for yourself. So Spirit is trying to help you. They're in this boat and they're trying to help you move away from this disappointments of the past, the sadness you're going through. It will all end, the upsets, and you'll start to move forward uh, Onto, from calmer waters into choppy, uh, from choppy waters into calmer waters, I beg your pardon. And it's about manifesting, coming into the present now and manifesting new goals for yourself. Now, this is in any area of your life. Goals are always what we're passionate about. Now, there's no creative energy on this table today. So what we're talking about here, we're talking about, it could be financial practical plans, it could be taking your skills, uh, it could deal with your relationships or your environments. So we're manifesting new goals for ourselves and we will start to see the way forward if we let the past go. Now, it might be we might want to have to do a bit of soul searching here. This is a loan type energy. So we're coming away on our own and the answers are always within us. They're never within our environments. Where We could be taking a walk, we could be taking a weekend away, a break, if it's a work environment, whatever this may be for you, but it's about going away on your own now and doing the soul searching that's needed to find the answers within. And you will gain enlightenment and that will help you find the clarity you need to move forward. Now, we're also always tuning in with our intuition. That goes without saying. And you'll start to see once you've done your soul searching, 
things are going to wrap up, like I say, and it's going to be a new time for you. And you're going to start to see the way forward through soul searching. And it's time to be setting these new goals. And like I say, always be tuning in with your intuition. Whatever you're thinking, sensing, feeling and seeing around you will be correct. Your gut instinct, what you're feeling, what you're noticing, it never lets you down. Never lets you down. So this will help with your mental uh, approach to things as well here. Now, after soul searching, it might be that you might have to cut people and situations out of your life that no longer serve you. Because this Queen of Swords energy, <coughs> excuse me, is someone who is a no-nonsense energy. She comes from a very intellectual place. And you can see her putting her hand forward. She's done her soul searching. She's uh, connected in with her intuition. She's focused on the present and she's got a very clear idea about how she wants to go forward. You can see her hand there and there's no one will get in her way. So this is about gaining clarity after upsets uh, to set new goals for yourself. Um, using the information you've gained. It can also be you having to communicate something as well. You can say she's very cold, but I don't think she is. She's somebody who's very clear when she speaks. Now, this could be coming into single life as well, because it is a singles card. It's a divorce card. That's for some of you. It's obviously not for, for everyone. So things are coming to a climax. You're seeing the way forward now. You're starting to set new goals for yourself. And what's going to happen is it could be that you're taking your skills elsewhere. Now, if this is a job, for example, a job we're talking about here, it could be that you're wanting to develop your skills further because you're very talented at what you do on a daily basis. It could be you're wanting to take your skills elsewhere as well to a new company, whatever this may be, whatever you're deciding to do here. It's about focus and it's about getting your head down and it's about working on these goals that you're setting. And you will see these pentacles will grow for you. So stay focused. Look at the details here. Make your plans. Take your skills. Use all the skills you have here to go forward. He's working on his pentacles. For the, like I say, it's your work, your life, your finances, your relationships or your environments. And he's looking at the details and he's setting, getting his head down and working on his goals. And what happens through doing that? as you'll come into this beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy. Now, she is someone who creates great stability around her. She's got beautiful environments here. She's been focused. She's cut out the people in situations that don't serve her. And she's invested her time and her energies into situations where she knows there's growth. And her skills will be appreciated or she will be appreciated. So our finances, for example, here, you might have to have, if there's been disappointment within your money, you might want to look at the details of that and have a better financial plan. And you can start to create great home comforts around you, what she's done. Now, it can be your work as well, like I say. So good relationships within your job, being appreciated for your skills here. It could be your relationships as well. Um, if you're going into single life, uh, it might well be that you can create a, a more stable environment for yourself in that sense if there's been upsets within your relationships or any environment that you've been in. But she's a very, very stable energy and she's a very nurturing energy as well. So I will take a fairy message, Spirit, please. Protection. Beautiful colours on this card. Every colour of the rainbow there. Protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. So the angels are protecting you at this moment in time. Yeah. Uh, and they're going to help you move forward with your goals. I hope this helps, Taurus. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.